It's Thursday afternoon and it's the day before load-in day for open sauce and I'm going to be packing up my car a little bit early just so I can get a head start. Uh, tomorrow morning and early afternoon I have a workshop with Adobe so we're going to be making some mini moss artworks. Uh, but right after that I'm going to be picking up a friend and we're going to be heading over to San Mateo straight to open sauce so that we can set up and get situated before the Friday night party. Um, and then it's going to be a busy weekend with days one and two of open sauce on Saturday and Sunday. But I'm really looking forward to it. The past two years were a really great experience. So I'm looking forward to seeing what changes they make for this year and seeing all the different booths that there is to see. Here's what we're looking like right now. Like I mentioned earlier, a lot of this stuff is for the workshop I'm doing with Adobe. Uh, but there is quite a bit for open sauce as well. So I'm all packed up now and I'm ready for tomorrow. I just got to Adobe, so it's time to unpack and get ready for my workshop. Load-in went super smoothly and I was able to set up all of my materials before the day started. We helped hundreds of families build their own moss creations, so it was super fun to see everyone's creativity. After I loaded out, it was time to pick up my friend and we headed to the San Mateo County Event Center so that we could check into open sauce and get up for the first day on Friday. Load-in went quickly and I brought all of my engineering paintings that I wanted to display this weekend and I'm really happy with my setup. They have this map around different locations and my booth is right under this tent. I saw the now famous giant robot head, a giant life-size operation game, and even some really cool pinball mechanics and I even got to see the inside of wiring and circuitry which was pretty neat. I also remember this knitting booth from last year and they make really cool designs with yarn and then I also saw the whole crunch lap setup which was really neat to see. For the Friday night party we got some tacos to eat and then I stayed at my booth pretty much the whole time just talking with my friends and then also staying to see if anyone wanted to check out my artwork so that I could stay there and explain what my booth was about. Even though I stayed at my booth for most of the time, I still got to see a few cool things. Once the party was over, I packed up my things and got ready for the next day. The first official day of open sauce that's open for everybody is Saturday, July 19th. And it was also my birthday and I was really happy to spend it here with a lot of really cool makers and I brought a college friend with me um, so it was a really good day. I had a lot of fun and I got to talk about all of my artwork with a lot of people. It's day one of open sauce and I just got through security so I need to reset up all of my paintings and prints that I brought home with me last night. But then I'll take some time to walk around again and see all the other booths. One thing that I think is really unique about this year for open sauce is the venue change. I think San Mateo is a really good place to have open sauce because there's a good amount of indoor and outdoor space. So it's nice to get some cover if you want to be inside, but it's also nice to go outside for some fresh air and a nice little breeze if it starts to get a little warm inside. I stopped by the merch booth and I saw a mural in progress by Ten Hun and it was really cool every time I needed to go to the bathroom I would just walk by it and see what progress was made. Uh, they also had a signing board, so I made a little sardine picture and put my name next to it. Uh, and they also had an airplane crash themed outdoor area with some seating and some greenery. So that was a nice place just to take a little break as well. Like I mentioned earlier, today is also my birthday, so Tyler, one of my exhibitor friends, brought me a piece of cake, and I decided to do a little live painting demo of it. Two, one, light. 
Left punch, X, X, X. Yeah, obviously. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> There was one guy at the event who was going around and interviewing a few of the different booths and at the end of the interview he gave me a disposable camera and he asked if I would fill it up and then return the camera to him and he would develop the photos and send them back to me. So I thought that was a really cool project so I took some photos on that day uh, and then I finished up the rest of the roll on Sunday. It's the last day of open sauce and I got here a little bit early just so I could reset up all of my paintings at my booth. But I also wanted to walk around so I could get a chance and see what everyone's exhibiting. So I'm going around and just having a look through all the halls. Since I am an exhibitor, most of my time is spent behind my booth so that I can show off my paintings and talk about my projects with all of the different visitors. The same guy that gave me the disposable camera also gave me a sheet of paper and a pack of crayons and he asked if I would also draw a photo for him so I drew this little open sauce artist robot uh, and I hope he likes it. A bunch of the creators were also making a second mural onto this panel of tote bags and I found out after the event they were also selling these tote bags for $40 each. This is the line to the merch booth and you could see a peek at Ten Hun's finished mural in the background. Uh, but after that I wanted to turn in my camera and my drawing uh, so that they could get developed and I hope to see the photo soon. The event was busy all day long and it was really cool to see all the excitement people had for everyone's projects even up until closing time. It's past 6 o'clock now so Open Sauce is officially over. So I packed up my booth and am getting ready to head out and stop loading up my car. I just got one more trip to do and then I am officially out of here. I reset my booth so that it's easy for them to clean up, but I'm almost done and it's time to go. I'm all packed up from open sauce, so now it's time to go home, unpack my car and get some food to eat. Overall, Open Sauce was an amazing experience and it keeps getting better every year. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing and if you went to Open Sauce, let me know in the comments.